I'm Sandra Lee, and I'm here to share with you another top shelf recipe. Now, a lot of us, when we're in the grocery store, buy those wonderful baking mixes. You know the one I'm talking about. But what happens when you run out of it and you can't find any more on the shelf, or you just want to make something very fast at home? Well, what I'm doing here is I'm putting six cups of flour into a big bowl, because what we're going to make is baking mix. And then after we make our baking mix, we're going to make a coffee cake together, and we're also going to make biscuits together. If you have a basic baking mix recipe on the side, you can pretty much make anything you want. Think about pancakes, think about waffles. All of those things can be made with this one recipe that I am going to start with. You're going to need three tablespoons of just regular salt. Then you're going to need one tablespoon of baking powder. And remember, the rim is there, so use it. There's a reason why that rim is in there. And then you're going to need three quarters of a cup of shortening. This particular recipe is a great recipe to make in advance and just have in your cupboard. All right, that is all you need for the basic recipe. Now it's all about elbow grease. You have to get in there with a fork. You could also use a pastry cutter. And I like to turn the bowl like this as I'm making my baking mix. And once it's in there pretty good and you've broken it up, you can get in there with your hands and just kind of knead it. Just crumbly and completely combined is what you want. So let's start off with a super simple recipe when it comes to the baking mix, something everybody loves, and that is biscuits. You just need two and a quarter cup of your baking mixture, and then it is simply two thirds of a cup of milk. Now I like buttermilk, that's what this is, but you can use half and half or you can use whole milk, which is right here. You could also use cashew milk or almond milk or any kind of milk that you actually want to use. Go in here and just stir this together. Now, if you wanted to, you could put some shredded cheese in here. That would be good. And then you'd have cheesy biscuits. You could also put bacon in here and then you'd have a delicious morning time biscuit. But this is your basic dough. A baking sheet is all you need, and I like to line mine with parchment paper. And then come in here and you want to make even biscuits. And these are going to be rustic. They're not going to be like perfect little balls unless you take the time to do that. I prefer them to be a little bit more rustic. The most important thing is that they're about the same size. And you can see how you turn kind of the textured part to the outside. That will give you that beautiful rustic look. These will go into the oven for eight to 10 minutes and that oven is already preheated at 450 degrees. We're gonna make coffee cake. Coffee cake is so delicious to make. I always do a double recipe of coffee cake and I like to make mine right in the pan. Four cups of baking mix goes into your pan. Then you're gonna have a cup and a half of milk then two eggs, you need about two teaspoons of cinnamon or more. I like a lot of cinnamon. Go in here and just start mixing it up. And I almost forgot, you've got to add some sweetness to this. So I'm going to add white sugar. You need about four tablespoons. Sometimes I've used molasses. You could also, if you wanted to, use brown sugar. Improvising is what is so great about all of these recipes. Once you have your base down, you're good to go. Now, once it's all combined, you need to even it out in the tray. Okay, so that is your basic coffee cake recipe in the pan, just like that. Now let's talk about the topping. Topping is the best part as far as I'm concerned. I'm gonna do a double recipe of the topping because I like it that much on top of my coffee cake. So this is just eight tablespoons of butter. Again, room temperature, you want it soft. Then a cup and a half of your baking mix, cup and a half of brown sugar, and make sure that you give a good push to your brown sugar so it's packed. Now I just want to fork this together to make a crumble, and then we're gonna add in here some cinnamon. You only need about 
a tablespoon or two of cinnamon. I like to use a lot of cinnamon again, so I don't really go by the measurement that's called for in the recipe. Once you're almost combined here, you're gonna have to get your hands in there and get a little bit dirty. Not too much at first, you just wanna make sure it's combined, otherwise it's gonna to stick to your fingers more than you want. Now that this is combined, you're gonna to have to get in there and break it apart to make the topping. I go from high up and I just kind of crumble it in my hands and make sure that it's evenly distributed on the top of my coffee cake. My recipe is really kind of like half coffee cake, half topping. How awesome is that? Now this goes into the oven. That is what the coffee cake looks like when it's all baked off. Plus, I have to say, it makes a beautiful display. Two cups of coffee and coffee cake. Now for our biscuits. You can either add butter to your biscuits if you want to. You can drizzle with a little bit of syrup. That might be very nice. Serve with a glass of milk. But that is the way that you use your pantry. And that baking mix will come in handy every single day.